In this video, we're talking about speed jumps. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We are in the Hanka Pro and we're gonna start by seeing the first way that we can add a speed drop in our clips. Now, we have the footage, we're gonna go and find the place where we want the slow motion of the speed drop that we want to create. So let's say that we want to start here and we're gonna adjust the exact point by using the right and left arrow keys in our keyboard. So we can go, let's say here, from here we want to have a slow motion. The first way to do that is by select this clip and where we have in the exact spot in the timeline with the line, we're gonna press Shift B. Shift B is the tool, as you can see here, to adjust the blade speed. Then we're gonna go with the right arrow in our keys to see where we want the slow motion to end, let's say here, and again, Shift B, so we can blade the speed of the clip. Now let me zoom in a little bit in the timeline, and you see here on top that we have 100%, 100%, 100% here, the normal. We can go and select here and go to slow 25%. As soon as you do that, that means that this portion here has the slow motion in it. And let me play that to see. Now, as you can see on top, we have a little bit of darker green and a little bit of darker orange, these lines here. And if I drag this, I can adjust how smooth I want the transition from the normal to the slow motion to be. So if I make it smaller, that means that the transition to the slow motion is going to be more fast. And if I drag it, let's say here on the orange, more to the right, it's going to be more smooth. So if I have a little bit of space between the start and the end of the slow motion, the transition for the spin drop is going to be more fast like that. And it can be more smooth, as we said before, if we drag it to the right or to the left, it will be more fast again. So it can be from smooth to a fast transition. That's the one way to do that. Let's go into the next video to see a second way that we can do the speed drums as well. So we have the clip here and we can adjust with the right and arrow key again. And let's say that uh, we want this portion here to be slow motion. So we will press R in our keyboard to select the range tool. We're gonna select this portion that we want to be slow motion and then we will click here on the time and go to slow 25%. We can adjust again the top accordingly if we want it smooth or more fast. Then we're gonna let it play and let's say from here to here, I want to be faster. So I will go here again, go to fast, let's say eight times faster. So we go again to fast. And then we want here again to be a little bit of slow motion. So I'm gonna get again to slow motion. I'm scrolling to the timeline here I want to be fast again, all this. So I will change it again to fast. You see what I do? With the R, the range tool, I select the portion where I want it to be fast or slow, and I adjust accordingly the speed on top. Then I can change how smooth I want it to be, the transition, as you can see here on the top where the darker boxes are and check how easy and how fast you can achieve the speed drop effect, slow, fast, whatever you want for your clips. One note here, you see that I'm adjusting 25% or 50% in slow motion. In order for you to not have this choppiness, it is advised to shoot in the higher frame rate your camera can shoot. For example, on this example here, it was shot at 100 frames per second, PAL, Europe, not 120 frames per second. So I have the ability on a 25 frames timeline to adjust it 
to 25% slower without having any choppiness. If you don't have this ability, I will point you to a different video that you're seeing right now on what you can do to have a smooth slow motion when you don't shoot in a high frame rate. Let me talk a little bit about Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace is, it's an online platform where you can get your domain or build your own website without having any knowledge at all at web design or web developing. With Squarespace, you can choose between high-end templates that they are created from designers that you can use them as a template to start building your website. So if you're a creator and you don't have a website, head over to squarespace.com slash Emilio. You can try it for free first. And when you're ready to buy, you can use the coupon code Emilio and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I will also have a link in the description for Squarespace and let's go back now into the video. Here don't forget that if you want to make it more interesting, the speed rubbing, of course, what you have to do, sound design, sound effects. There are plenty of uh, different options for you, either free or you can go to services like Epidemic Sound or Artlist to get your sound effects. Usually on speed rubbing, we use some whooshes, some, you know, the adjustment of the speed and the time. Also, I like very much the Essential VFX sound effect pack. I will have a link in the description of this video down below for all of these to check them out. Lastly, I want to show you an example of a speed rub where we have an orbit to our subject and what the motion blur is going to add to that footage. So let's go and see. We have this footage and let's say from the start of the movement, and we can do the first method, we select here, shift B, and go until the end of the orbit. Let's say here, again, shift B, I will select this and make it fast eight times. Or if I want it more, I can go again, zoom in and go either 20 times or custom. So I want it to be, let's say, 1200. And then I want the last part to be 50% in slow motion. I will adjust how smooth I want the transition of the speed to be. I don't want it very smooth. So I adjusted it accordingly and check the result. If I add on the transition of the speed where it's fast, because you see right now, it doesn't have any motion blur. So if I add a motion blur on top of it as an adjustment layer, and you will find a link in the description as well for my motion blur pack. Let's go add it and see. We select the motion blur advanced. Let's select the high. I will press B on my keyboard so I can blade it. I will add it on top. On the inspector panel on the right, you can see that I can have zoom blur or not. For this example, I'm not going to have a zoom blur because I'm doing an orbit. The zoom blur is nice basically when you have a line, a straight line that you're going with the camera, let's say in a car or when you want to have movement in front of you, not when you're doing orbit. And let's see the result here with the motion blur. Pretty nice, right? And you can adjust, you can have either high or maximum or low or medium, whatever motion blur you want to have in this time speed setting. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, as a reward, don't forget to like it and also place a comment to say hi or tell me anything you want to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.